Today we're going to cover how to add or edit a role inside of the portal. Now when you access the portal, you're going to be presented with one of two screens. You'll either be presented with your bid grid screen or you'll be presented with the dashboard. In either case, doesn't matter, you're going to click the admin drop down and you're then going to choose the roles manager. Once you choose the roles manager, you're going to be presented with a list of the roles that you currently have available. Now, if you don't have any roles created, you're going to start out with the portal admin and client admin by default. Now, the reason that you have two different roles is for two different portions of the application. The portal role is specific to the portal and what you can do inside of the administration portal. And the client admin is specific to Edge Estimator, Edge Estimator being the version 12 application. So if you wanted to edit any one of these roles, you could simply click the edit icon and it's going to present you with a window that has specific options due to the application that you're working on. For example, if we were going to edit our junior estimator role and we click the edit option, you'll notice that we're presented with a list of toggle switches that we can turn on or off depending on what we want this role to be able to do. And you'll also notice that there are two tabs. Now the first tab is the job tab and this is going to allow the estimator to manipulate information in the specific job that they're working in. So ultimately go through and toggle on or off any of these toggle switches depending on what you want this role to have the capability to do. The next tab that you see is the database tab and this is going to control what this role can do inside of your database. So if you don't want that user to be able to add, modify, or delete any information but you do want them to be able to view well then ultimately you would toggle view on and leave everything else as off. Once you're finished editing this role, you'll go ahead and click save. Now, if you didn't have a role out there to edit, well then you would need to create a role. So when you create a role, you're gonna click on the add new role option here at the top, and you're gonna to need to give it a name. In this case, we'll say portal role, and then we'll say estimator. And here I'm just going to copy and paste this just to save myself the typing. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click the drop down and I'm going to choose the portal application. Now this is important choosing the correct application because depending on the application you're creating the role for, you do want to make sure that you choose it correctly. In this case, because we're making a role specific for the portal for the estimator, we're going to choose portal. If I wanted to make a version 12 client role, I would choose edge estimator. If I was creating a role for a vector user, I would choose vector. And then down the road, you'll have edge on site options as well. So for today, like I said, we're going to choose the portal option because we've already seen the edge estimator toggle switches. And so I want to show you what the portal toggle switches look like. So we'll say add. Once you say add, you'll notice that that role has been created. And now you're going to click the edit button on that role. Once the role is created, you'll notice that it has nothing turned on. So you now have to go in and turn on that information. Now you will see two tabs here as well. We're gonna jump back to the portal tab in just a moment, but if you look at the job tab, this is gonna allow the user to make modifications to the bids that you have in the portal. What are those modifications? Well, the first one is view, and the second one is to modify the status. So if you had archived any of your bids, they would need to be able to unarchive this, so they would need to be able to modify the job status. So you would wanna turn that on, and you would also wanna turn the view on for them. Jumping back to the portal tab, now this is where the permissions get a little bit more restrictive. In this case, we do want them to be able to set their own password so that way if they forget it, they have the capability they can go in and reset it if need be. Do we want them to be able to view licenses? Yes. However, check out, take, check in, modify, no, no, we don't want them to have that capability. Ultimately, you could go through and you can toggle on or off any of these different permissions that they have the capability to have. Continuing down, you'll see that we have role settings, trades, users, vendors. Again, these are all just different capabilities that this role will give that user profile the ability to use while accessing the portal. Now, if you have any additional questions or you run into any issues while you're walking through setting up one of these roles for your team, feel free to give us a call on the tech line and we'd be happy to assist you in any way we can. If you need additional information on what each one of these options is for these settings, you can also reach out to us. We have some documentation we can send your way that will give you a brief description of what each one of these roles is going to allow that user to do if it's turned on. 
Again, reach out to our tech and training team if you need any assistance as you're going through this process. Thank you very much for watching and have a great rest of your day.